guys, welcome to my reading pile for um, August 6th to August 20th. Um, I This is the, the post where I basically go through what books are on my nightstand to read over the next couple weeks. Um, as I kind of predicted, I did not get through as many books the last couple weeks just because I did start my new job and I did have a lot going on. And just generally when I'm doing something, a big change like that, I get a little unfocused and I have a lot of trouble like sitting and reading. I'm like busy. My mind is busy and I'm busy and I just have trouble reading as much. So um, there are a couple books that did roll over. Uh, part of that was books I got for review that ended up like trumping books I had planned on reading. Um, anyways, without further ado, this is kind of what I'm planning on reading the next couple weeks. Uh, the top two that I'm planning on reading, the first two in my pile, are actually ebooks that I got for review. And the first one of those is Sweep, the Story of a Girl and Her Monster by Jonathan Oxier. And I probably said that wrong again because I'm horrible with names. Um, this does come out in September, so I plan on reading it in August. The second review one I'm going to read is Night in Silence by Shauna McGuire. This is like, I don't know, the 11th or 12th or I don't know book in the October Day series. That series has been going on forever, but it's still one of my favorite series. Um, so that comes out in September as well, so I will be reading that. And then the last ebook I plan on reading is the second book in the Air Awakens series, Fire Falling by Elise Kova. Um, I really, really loved Air Awakens, and so I bought the like Kindle pack. Like You could get all five books for $8.99 or something like that. So I bought all five books. I'm going to try and read the second book in that series. Um, I didn't mean to wait so long to read it. I've just been trying to hit my to be read pile. Um, okay, so then the other like book books, like physical books I'm going to read is Made to be Broken by Kelly Armstrong. This is the second book in the Nadia Stafford series. I really love the first one and I'm looking forward to reading the second one in that series. Um, Seraph, Seraph of the End Vampire Reign Volume 2 by Takama Kagami and Yamamoto Yamama, Yamato Yamamoto. <laughs> I think I got that right. Anyways, this is another one I read the volume of the first Megan when it was on my to be read pile and then I got the second one for my birthday so I'm excited to read that. Um, the new Berserk did come out. My husband actually bought this because he's a huge, huge Berserk fan. Uh, vol volume 39. Yes, 39. Uh, by Kentaro Miura, and I will be reading this as well. See, you can tell there's like some graphic novels in here because I'm just trying to like be easy on myself the next couple weeks. Um, and then one I did not get to from my last reading pile was Death and Relaxation by Devin Monk. Uh, this is book one in the Ordinary Magic series, and I've liked a lot of Devin Monk stuff, so I will hopefully get to that. The next one is... Return to Exile by E.G. Patton. This is the first book in the Hunter Chronicles. This is another one that was on my list um, for the last two weeks that I didn't get to. Um, so hopefully I will get to read that. And then a new one for the pile, which is very, very heavy, is Brave Story by Mayu Miyuki Miyabe. Um, this, I don't know, this just always looks like a really cool book to me. And... I, it's been on my bookshelf for a really long time. I think it, when was it released? Let me look. It was released in 2007. So I've probably had it for like, I don't know, 10 years or something like that. So I would love to read this. It won the B Batch Elder Award. Yeah. So I'd love to read that. Um, so that's kind of what I have on my list. Uh, I can show them again very quickly here. Except for they're upside down, so it's going to be hard to read. Um, you will notice that probably half of these are not to be read pile books. Um, I did get my to be read pile, which I, I've talked about a lot. Um, my to be read pile was originally at, ugh, a few years ago it was like at 350 books. Um, I made a huge effort this year to try to really not get so many books and, uh, read, <sighs> Well, not even, well, read my books in my to-be-read pile, but really, like, read the first 100 pages of the book, and if I hate it, just, like, say, you know what, I'm done. I don't want to read this. I'm not going to force myself to read this. Um, so, doing that, I have been able to get myself down to 80 books on my to-be-read pile, which 
is huge for me. It's like below 100 books, yay. Um, so I'm super excited about that. And I decided to give myself kind of a break and like read some of the books I read for my to be read piles. Most of them were first books in a series. And the ones that I liked, I'm going to go ahead and read some of those books now. So I'll start reading some of my, my newer books. Um, and some, of, I would say probably half of those books out of the 80 are like not like to be read pile like they've been on the pile a long time but like just two reads so like I probably got half of them this year and you know so half of them are new half of them are old I'll figure that out as I go um yeah so there's me blabbing about my two red pile that's it for this post though um I hope you guys have a great week and I will talk to you probably next week or the end of this week for stacking the shelves um bye have fun <laughs>